You remember the weight of cats problem that we looked at earlier. There was this little sample of five cats, and they looked at the weights of each of those five cats. Let's build a, uh, an object X that contains those five weights. As always, we'll use the uh, cantonate function to uh, help us do that. We're, we're going to find the standard deviation, <clears throat> but to do that, we're going to need to know what uh, the average is, the mean. The, I'm not going to bother showing it right now. I'm just going to know that R knows how to do it. I need to have a column that is going to be x minus x bar. And that's easy to calculate because I just take the x vector minus the x bar vector. Let's just look at a data frame of that and examine the, that script. OK, so there's our our five weights of the, we found the mean of those weights, and we took x minus the mean in each case to get these amounts. Uh, the next thing that I need to do is, uh, is look at the, the uh, difference squared. That's part of the formula for that, so I, I need to take the x minus the x bar and square that. Once again, let's look at the data frame just so. And let's run that script. There it is. OK. So there's our x values. There's our x minus the x bar, there's the x minus the x bar squared. We have most of the parts that we need now. It's going to be useful for us to find the length of our vector, what our sample size is, uh, and so we'll just create n as the length of the vector. The formula for the sample variance is the sum of those differences squared divided by n minus 1. So we can do that calculation very easily. We can then ask R to tell us what that variance is. The thing that I want you to be aware of, uh, and then of course the standard deviation is just going to be the square root of that variance, and so we could print all of those out. The thing that I want you to know is that R has a built-in command called SD for standard deviation. Once you've built things as a vector, like x, then you can calculate that standard deviation just by doing SD of x. You, you don't have to build all those data frames, all those vectors. It does all of that all at once. And that's going to be important because during this semester you will calculate a standard deviation probably a hundred times or more. And so being able to do that quickly in R is going to be very useful. Uh, it might be of interest to also know that there is a command in R called variance, variance of x, and that'll just calculate uh, that variance as well. Now, <clears throat> and don't get confused here. I created an object called VAR. And there's a function called VAR. Those are two different things, and R recognizes that they're different because the function has parentheses after it. Uh, the object was something that I named, and I was saving something in that named object. So this SD that's here is in line 11 is different than the SD in line 12. In SD in line 12 is a function that's built into R that does all of that work all at once. Just, uh, let's run this script and just make a couple of observations here to verify that what I want you to see here is that when we calculated the, the variance by the formula and when we used the variance by var x that they gave exactly the same amount and notice that when we calculated the standard deviation by finding the square root of the variance, that it gave exactly the same amount as doing the SD of, 
of x. Now let's just go back just real quickly and notice that all of this standard deviation and variance could have been as soon as as soon as soon r knows what x is, then we can ask r to calculate the variance and the standard deviation. So let me put a little bit of space in here so that we're not getting mixed up with things that we've already done. So <clears throat> when, when we need to know standard deviation, variance, means, all of those kinds of things, when, when there's a built-in command in R, then we can do it with just a one line of code that finds those values for us very quickly and easily. Okay, it's powerful. It's powerful, folks. Once, you're, once you get the data munged, so that is you've got it in a, a vector form like this, then you can have R do all kinds of calculations very quickly for us.